Hey Realm Walkers, welcome to the first post-launch developer update. Something that hasn't changed is we've got a lot to talk about today. So if you're short on time, feel free to use the timestamp chapters to skip around. Otherwise, let's jump right in, starting off with a message from Inflection Games CEO, Aaron Flynn. Hey everybody. A few weeks ago, we launched Nightingale into early access, and it's been a super exciting time for all of us here at the studio. We've been spending a lot of our time reading your impressions online, going through Discord, watching your streams, etc., and building our plans for the next phase of the game. Now that being said, there are some things that we're not happy with about the game. Whether it's network disconnects, some missing quality of life improvements that we want to get done, or other things in the game that are missing or not quite where we want to be, we're working hard to address those things right now and to make sure that you get the best playable experience possible. Now on that front, we have a patch going live which is going to address one of our biggest concerns, which is network disconnects. Really exciting for us to get that done for you. To everyone who's been jumping in, giving us lots of feedback and your impressions, we really, really appreciate and cherish your thoughts very much. Your thoughts and considerations really help us prioritize where we want to spend our time and help us hone and sharpen our vision for where we want to take the game. So thank you again for all that. Uh, we hope you keep playing. We hope you enjoy what you're playing. I hope you stay tuned for more of our updates in the future. There's lots more coming. Thank you very much. For those of you that have been providing feedback and helping us track certain technical issues with Nightingale, thank you so much. Our team has been working very hard to resolve a lot of these critical issues as well as bugs, so your participation really does help us track all of it. We already rolled out our first couple of updates. Uh, we pushed out the first hotfix within 24 hours of launch, which included a fix that helped reduce graphic crashes by 85%. We're continuing to look into the remaining ones, so please check out our technical support page where you can find tips and also instructions on how to submit a support ticket. And since then, we've pushed out our first big patch that included hundreds of ticketed items. These range from minor bug fixes, uh, closing off some exploits, and some quality of life improvements. Some highlights from this patch were the ability for players to, to choose their server region, including the new Oceania server, as well as the South America server. The patch also included additional screens uh, for in-game communication. So if the devs want to give the player any kind of information, and for example, um, server downtimes, it will uh, a banner will now replace the shards not found and actually give you um, the expected downtime and when the server is actually down. Other things that were addressed in this patch were things like some seeds not growing in certain planters, um, the escape button sometimes being unresponsive, and some other uh, localization updates. And the exploit by using favorable water bottle prices, that was removed as well. If you'd like to see the full patch notes of this big update, we'll provide the link in the description. So since we started to put this dev update together, an incident happened over this past weekend where players were losing their respite realms. The team got to work immediately and have been successful in rolling back uh, players' respites to a save before the incident happened restoring their estates. Additionally, after a lot of investigation, the team pushed out an emergency update on Sunday, and since then, we haven't seen any new reports of players losing their respite realms. We're very sorry to everyone that has been impacted, and we'll continue to ensure that everyone gets as much progress back as possible, as we work hard to prevent this from happening again in the future. Speaking of exploits, we've heard that some players have discovered ways to get gear and weapons that are way beyond the intended current game experience. While we applaud the inquisitive and curious nature that led to the discovery of these systems, we have heard that it's causing some issues for others in public vaults. We intend to remove these systems and do some balancing in a future update. But in the meantime, we ask that users who are using these overpowered things to be considerate of others and not use them in public vaults. It's also possible to run vaults without public matchmaking by getting cards from the Essence Trader in the Watch and then using these in portals in your own realms. And if you want to party up with others, feel free to join us on Discord where we have a looking for group channel for community members to party up with others. 
We've gotten some questions regarding updates. So we wanted to share some insight and our philosophy when it comes to that. We quickly realized that doing patches every day or even every other day was not feasible for a few reasons. First, we have to take the servers down and force players out of the realms in order to do this. This can be really disruptive for players in the game. So whenever we do an update, we want to have as many um, community pain points that we can address in one update so we don't have to keep bringing the servers down. So when it comes to timelines, I'll give you an idea of what it looks like. We receive a report from players. It then gets um, evaluated for priority. It gets assigned, investigated, someone does the fix or change, and then it has to go through QA and not until they verify it that it doesn't break a big system of the game, it, can we then say that it's, it's ready to be put out. Sometimes these issues seem simple on the surface, but if we treat them as, as simple and we miss something, they can cause a domino effect that we didn't even foresee or that didn't even seem connected. That, e that then causes even more work and more time spent uh, trying to fix not only the original issue, but the domino effect issue. <laughs> For this reason, we prefer to wait and be certain that the fix or the addition has gone through proper testing before we push it out into a patch. Now that we're early access, Work on Nightingale continues with your feedback. We understand that you're probably curious as to what we've been working on. So recently we shared a graphic that showed some of our short-term and medium-term priorities. In the coming weeks, our primary focus is on refining the current game experience by removing unintended friction points. This looks like squashing bugs, continued investigations into remaining crashes and network errors, as well as game balancing and removing any additional exploits that still exist in the game. In the short term, we're also looking into quality of life updates that don't require a long turnaround time, but will have a big impact on players. This includes things like quick sort into storage, craft from storage, queue up crafting, as well as the ability to purchase items from your guidebook after you've met essence traders. Keep an eye on our socials for the latest news on these updates as to when they're happening and what's going into each one as well as for upcoming community events. Looking forward to things uh, we're working on further out uh, in the next few months or so are things that take longer to develop. These are things like improvements to creature AI, additional weapon types for different early game combat options, additional recruitable NPC features uh, to make them more useful and engaging, evolving building structure limits. This does not include bugs and issues to building and structure allowances. Uh, we are currently looking for a solution for that. Improvements to climbing and some changes to the overall progression. This is also when we're hoping to launch an offline mode. The offline mode falls into the medium term category because it involves a lot of work. For example, the game workload is currently split between the servers and your PC. So we need to see how machines will handle doing the work of both. We're still very early on this work and are unable to commit to timelines, but know that we are working on this. We have content in development that will continue to be released throughout the year. For example, new POI experiences, new biomes, and new creatures. But as development continues, we will keep you updated. So please keep the requests and suggestions coming. And that's it for today. Thanks again to everyone who's provided their input since Nightingale's launch. If you'd like to contribute to the conversation, please check out our description where we will have links to our bug and feedback boards, as well as our player support portal in case you're running into any technical problems. Take care, Realm Walkers. We'll see you in the Feywild.